yeah, welcome. Come on in. Thanks so much for having me over. I'm so excited to have a girls' night. I have not been invited over to anyone's house to watch a movie in, gosh, I can't even remember the last time. Oh, no way. Well, I'm glad that we found time to do this. I know that you like horses, so I thought that we could watch a horse movie. Have you seen Black Beauty? Oh, the one that just came out? Oh, have you already seen it? No, no, I haven't. I've been wanting to though. Oh good, this is gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, I just realized this. Such a coincidence. I literally wore a horse shirt. Oh, how cute. I mean, I have like five, so it was a 50-50 chance. Maybe I'll even learn a thing or two about horses. Oh, do you wanna learn about horses? I can like totally teach you as we watch the movie. Oh no, that's okay. I just meant learning from like actually watching the movie. If something comes up that's a good learning opportunity, I totally don't mind. There said a Mustang spirit could never be broken. But I was beginning to doubt if that was true. Ugh, typical. My spirit felt shattered. Quite the haul. I drove all the way out from New York. Oh, really? He drove all the way from New York to get a Mustang? In that truck? That's like 2,000 miles. Doesn't he know that there's like 20 different pickup locations all over the United States? Definitely something closer than Utah. Oh, maybe he has family in Utah or something. Oh, she's a pretty one. Yeah, well that Philly's got a horrible temper. Trust me, you don't want her. She's a straw horse anyway. She's leaving this afternoon. The new man seemed different. His eyes were softer. Poor girl. You're just frightened, I know. Yeah, see? No. This is not accurate at all. Oh. It's not? It looks pretty real. Well built, too. Elegant. Okay, boys, that's it. Round them up. Hold on. I'll take her. Really? Look at those fences. They're like three and a half feet high. You have to have six foot fences to adopt wild mustang. That horse would totally jump that in a second. Maybe it just looks shorter on camera. There you go. Look it out. No, look. What, is that guy 10 feet tall? I doubt that. Let's just keep watching. Just pause it for a second. Okay, honestly, no Mustang is gonna act like that. Like, first of all, they don't even know what grain is, so she's not gonna chase after him for grain. That makes no sense. Plus, no Mustang is gonna chase after somebody unless they're backed into a corner. She has that entire pasture. They're flight animals, she would run away. <sighs> so unrealistic. Maybe this Mustang is just different. No, that's very unlikely. Do you want to watch something else? We don't have to keep watching this. No, no, I'm loving it. Horse movies are my favorite. Oh, because you don't seem like you're enjoying it. You're just tearing everything apart. No, it's just, it's good. It's just not accurate, that's all. Okay, because we can totally watch something else. No, I, I want to find out what happens. Okay. The boy and I developed a game. We played it together, you see. Each and every day, I always won. Hey, j My just pause it for a second. What now? This is why I have such a hard time watching horse movies. Like, how dangerous. Okay, so let's just pretend that the horse was chasing the kid for grain. Why would the kid keep going in there? Like, that is so unsafe. What are they teaching the next generation? Not horse safety, that's for sure. Okay, so we're like five minutes in and no one's died yet. That's pretty good for a horse movie. What? Oh, like in every single horse movie, usually somebody dies, typically it's a parent, and then the kid has to go live with some random relative and work on a ranch. Usually the character starts out totally hating horses, but then they turn out that they're like gifted and they whisper to the horse, they can like communicate, and they jump on the horse bareback, they know nothing about riding, and they gallop in a field, everything goes perfectly fine. It's totally unrealistic. 
That's oddly specific. I doubt they're all like that. No, it's just like Hallmark movies. They all have the same plot. Well, let's just keep watching and see. Hello? John Manley? I noticed he was always alone. Okay, see, I told you, she's gonna be the horse whisperer. I guarantee it. She doesn't look like a horse person. Yo. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for the loss. Call if you need anything. The girl's parents had died in a car accident. John was her uncle. I don't know how. I really wish you would try. I knew Joe could be fearless. Okay. What did I tell you? She jumps on the horse, she has no idea what she's doing, and she's a perfectly safe gallop through a field. <laughs> that would never happen. Maybe it does happen that way sometimes. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's just pretend that somebody out there is really gifted and can have a perfectly safe and beautiful gallop without knowing anything about anything. Bareback, bridleless. Most people look like a sack of potatoes even with a saddle. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, that she is like a natural and she can do everything perfectly without knowing anything. What are you teaching all the other little kids who are watching this movie and then go home and see a horse in a field, jump on it, and just go galloping into the wind? I hope there's hay piles everywhere because this isn't gonna end well. Okay, well, it's been about two hours and we're only 10 minutes in. Oh wow, we're zipping right through this. I don't think I have time to finish this today. Let's just try to remember where we left off and we can keep chipping away at it another day. Yeah, maybe we could do that. Do you feel like you learned a thing or two today? Yeah, I did. I learned a lot. You are so welcome. I am passionate about helping form the next generation of equestrians. Yeah, thank you. Well, I had a good time. All right, yeah, see you later. Just shoot me a text when you wanna finish the movie. Will do. All right, I'll see you later. You know what? I actually wanna finish this movie. Let's see what happens. Oh, is this your cat? She's it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's that about? Most people look like a sack of potatoes, even with a salad. Salad.